Hey guys, Simcolor here, and today I'm going to bring you a new project that I've been working on, uh, similar to the Uber app, um, which the reason I, why I'm doing this is because the, the Uber redesign got a really good feedback and you guys seem to really enjoy it. So um, I'm going to do the same for the, the Tinder app, or I did the same for the Tinder app. So I've tried to make an app that's as similar as possible to the Tinder app, to the Tinder clone that we've worked on. So yeah, let's go and check it out. So um, the main difference are in the design, obviously, there are some backend uh, changes. So um, starting with the login and registration, there is uh, there are a lot of difference, as you can see by the, the screen right now. So the user has the ability to to choose a lot more things in the re registration. It is a lot nicer and so on and so forth. So getting into the UI, it is similar to the, the design of Tinder. So you ha are able to swipe left and right, not only on the cards, but through the, the view. So through the user information, through the chat and through the cards. Then in the uh, edit profile, there are a lot more fields that I've added to match the Tinder. And so we have an about, the job, the age, things like that. You are able to select the gender uh, after you've re registered. You are able to choose the, the photo. You are, were able to do that before, but now I've made some adjustments to glide so that the, the image is always uh, round and it looks a lot nicer, as you can see. So the UI is basically the same as Tinder one. And so, yeah, that was the main goal. As you can see, the cards also look a lot um, similar to the Tinder one. Uh, the screen that you just saw was about the um, choosing interests. So now the user is able to choose whether it is interest on uh, male, female or both. And depending on that, the cards uh, will change and will try to fetch different users, whether they are male, female or uh, it just doesn't care about uh, those aspects and just keeps on going. So yeah, now I have two users, uh, a male and a female one. Um, and the male uh, is the one that shows, uh, in this case, Paula. And the female one is the one that shows Jimmy. So you start uh, swiping up. And yeah, another things that I've implemented is notifications, which is something that you guys wanted a lot. So I figured, why not? Let's just do it. and. Yeah, so in here I was trying to show you guys, and there we go. Uh, the notification appears in the mail um, page. And uh, when you are in app, it shows up as a box like that, a dialog box. And if you are out of the app, then it will appear in your notification drawer, just as it does for any other app uh, that's out there. So um, that's a really cool thing that uh, you guys wanted. And so I just figured uh, why not? Uh, apart from that, in the login screen, as you can see, we have the forget password uh, button so that uh, an email is sent to the, um, to the user uh, whenever he forgets the password and he's able to, to enter a new one so that he can, again, use the app. So yeah, I'm going over the app right now. I'm showing you everything that I can. And uh, some other things that I change is the card. You are able to click the card and the, the user will pop up um, in your screen with the detailed information so, so that you can see the, about the job, things like that, so that you can see basically every, anything that um, shows up. And yeah. Okay, so now going on to the, the chat, uh, let's go ahead and send a message. And as you can see, the chat looks a lot better and there's notifications again for the chat. Um, the chat, I try to make it as similar as possible to, to Tinder again. And yeah, so that's what I went and did. Now let's see, there's a notification that I was talking about for the new message. I know this is going a bit fast, but you just try to condense everything in the, into one uh, into one video. So yeah, and so that's basically it. Um, now the the chat uh, is 
uh, a bit different. I've messed with the backend and now it scrolls uh, to the bottom whenever you get into a new chat, which is something that you guys wanted uh, as well. So, um, yeah. As you can see, it shows the information of user that you are talking with uh, on the top, with an image and the name. Um, and apart from that, I mean, there's not a lot to, to say, a lot more to say. Uh, this was a big revamp. Uh, I've taken care to update the app, the Gradle, to make sure everything was up to date. And so, yeah. And in the chat, you can see that you have the new matches and the messages below, just as you do in the Tinder app. And yeah, so now interested in, which was on one of the things that I was talking about before. Um, now it is set to both, I believe. So let's see. In here, you can see the, the card opening up so that you can see all of the user's information. And yeah, now, as you can see, because it is set to both, both uh, males and females appear on the cards. Um, so yeah, that was one of the goals that you wanted. So yeah, that's, that's all that I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, the app is now available in my store, which is um, linked down below and you can, are more than free to, to get it. And yeah, if you have any questions about the app, whether it does something that you want or not, then please do contact me. Um, I'll be more than free to to talk to you about it. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you are having a wonderful day and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Ciao!